Okay, I figured out that I would, or figured out, figured I would just record the screen while I created the Google presentations that we're going to use. So first of all, you will sign in or create an account here. So if you have a Google, don't have a Google account, you can create one up here. Um, you won't need a Google account to access the documents that I'm creating, but just in case you wanted to create your own. And I'm going to sign in. Okay, and I'm going to create a presentation. Gonna stick to the plain white. And I'm assuming that you guys will come in and change this as we go. I'm wondering. Though, if I can't steal our, here we go, just for now. Oh, that's readable. All right, let's change that font size, which is here. Well, let's choose a font like Arial. And Okay, we'll just leave it at that for now. So basically our presentation is created. I'm going to rename it. Okay. There we go. So that's our name. I'm going to add, so we have a title page, maybe our page for Creative Commons, and then I think we said we needed eight, but we've put in 10 extra, so two, so we need about 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, just for good measure. We have extras, and we'll leave this one for Commons, and I'll fill that in later. And then what we should do here is do this. Um, group one, slide A, and they can change that after, but this no will let them know that it's their groups and they won't go to someone else's group slide so that they don't overwrite any of their own, uh, they don't overwrite anyone else's. Sorry, slide B, group three, slide A, we're group four, so it's me group, yeah, five. And those titles can be deleted once a person gets to them and decides to use it. They just will tell them so that group one doesn't write group five slide. There we go. So basically we're set up and I will do another screen capture in terms of editing and playing. Oh, silly me. One other thing. Share. Change the privacy settings. It's entirely public. So anyone on the web could do this, um, come and edit this and change this document, absolutely anyone, if I do it that way. And if I leave it on public on the web, they could actually search it. I am going to make it wide open so that anyone can get here and edit it, but they have to have the link sent to them because there's no way someone's going to guess or hack. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say no way, but I don't imagine it's very likely, and I've certainly never had it happen before, that someone guessed a Google Doc link because if you look at that URL up there it's about 30 or 40 characters long and it's a uh, random code so no one's gonna guess that so I will email this link to you and you can edit it and when I even post this video on our blog I'll blur that out but um, anyway so that anyone with that link can come in here and edit it and anyone no sign-ins required 
people can come in and edit. So anyone can edit. There we go. Save. And there's that link. I will copy and email to you guys. And if you want, you can come in and play with it. Okay.